Welcome to my drum and RSPS series called Extreme.exe. As an Extreme account, I have the lowest XP rates out of any other game mode, but I do also earn a massive 10% boost to my drop rate, which is incredibly overpowered. The goal of this series is simple. I'm going to max out my combat stats and completely abuse my 10% drop rate boost to get very, very rich. If you enjoyed today's upload and want to see more progress in the future, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. That way you'll never miss an upload. And if you'd like to play Dramen for yourself, then go ahead and check the description of this video because I have a link to the Dramen Discord server there. Simply click the link to join the Discord and from there you can navigate to the download section in order to install the game. Once you log in, you can head over to the referral chest, click on it, select YouTube, then next, and finally click Gem Q to receive a very nice starter box that's full of amazing rewards. Okay, as always, I'm starting off with some votes. This is going to be a pretty good moneymaker in the long run, especially while I'm still a lower level and I'm pretty limited as to what I can do to make cash. And while I'm waiting for those votes to sell off, I'm going to go ahead and use the 120-ish D-bones that I got in the last episode. I was getting about 800 XP per bone in the last video, and now I'm getting 648. So there must have been some bonus XP involved last time, and I should honestly wait for bonus XP again before using these bones, but I want to try to get these early levels as soon as possible, so I'm going to go ahead and use these bones still, and right around level 70 is when I'm going to start waiting for bonus XP when it comes to prayer. Okay, and this is the last bit of my bones. Looks like I'm going to finish off with 60 prayer, and I really do want to start doing these daily tasks, but they require a lot of levels, and with my XP rates, it wouldn't really be efficient just to go out and get levels for dailies right now, but they do give you like 2 to 5 mil every time you complete them, so I definitely want to get started on that very soon and I think the way I'm going to try to work around that a little bit is by doing achievements because the achievement shop gives you XP lamps for only 10 points so I can go ahead and start completing tasks and the first one is actually 250 sand crabs I can go ahead and start working towards that in order to get some points and also a couple of levels go along with that so it's kind of like a win-win situation but yeah I want to start working my way through these achievements getting some points going to the achievement shop getting those XP lamps using them on my skills that way I can do my dailies and there's 40 magic I'm just killing these sand crabs like I mentioned before. I'm not sure if I'm going to kill all 250 in one sitting because I am a low level, but we'll see how it goes. 50 magic nice. So I did just talk about the dailies and achievements and stuff like that, but I want to kind of focus on the combat side of the goals for this video and the next couple of episodes as well. But I really want to start getting into bossing as soon as possible. That way I can start bringing in a bunch of cash. But in order to do that, I need two things, which is levels and then cash itself just to get started with some certain gear like whips, furies, D boots, stuff like that. But that's where the things like voting and those achievements and dailies come into play. I'm going to be able to get a steady income from that. It's not going to be a lot and I'm not going to be like really rich but I'll be able to get my starter gear like the Furies and Whips I mentioned and I also think I'm going to go ahead and get some Void as well so I don't have to worry about armor sets for a while. I'll just go ahead and get like the bare minimum equipment for weapons and then I should be able to go start bossing. And there's 60 magic. That's where I'm going to stop for now. I also have a KC of around 60 for my sand crabs. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start working on Void now, which is honestly, it's like the best time to start because I can not only get levels, but a little bit of side cash as well while getting an armor set that I'm probably going to use for a while. And I think it's going to be about a thousand points to get a full set of Elite Void for each combat style. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that all in this video because I don't want the entire video of me just being at pest control. I want there to be some variety. An update just came up and everyone is gone. They're not here anymore. So that kind of sucks. It's fine now. I'll come back. There probably is going to be a couple of people here later on, so I'll come back later. On a positive note, though, my votes did sell for just about 8 mil. Nice. And I might as well stay productive while I'm waiting for more people to go back to pest control. So let's go ahead and get a slayer task, and it looks like I have to kill... Oh, wait. Oh, I already have a task? Crawling hands. A summer ticket. What even is this? Oh, I can upgrade items with it. All right, I'll look into that. I didn't know that was a thing. 65 defense. That's pretty nice because now I can use chivalry. It's not as good as piety, but at these lower levels, it definitely helps out. And 65 strength to go along with it. Task completed. I got a casket from that and there's 500k inside. <laughs> Very nice. I want more of those. Let's also open up this crystal chest for nothing. Man, I wish it had some like D boots in it or something. Just a free upgrade would be great right now. Another task. Cave crawlers. 
I can do that. And just an update on the overall time played on this account. I have just under 10 hours of game time and I don't even have a single combat stat up to 70 yet. And I'm not complaining. I'm just wanting to give you some context because this account definitely takes some time to level up. Basically every clip that you see in these videos is like 15 to 30 minutes of progress. Another task completed. Let's go ahead and open the casket for some gold and I am rich. Okay, and this is a good surprise. I'm back at PC. There's a few people doing some runs with me. So let's go ahead and try to finish this set. Okay, and out of nowhere, there's like a million people here now. So this should go by really quickly. All right, well, just like I said, that went pretty quickly. It only took me about 15 minutes and I should be able to get the last two pieces. Let's go ahead and get the legs and then the helm. And there we go. Very nice. I still, of course, need to get the upgrades for it to turn it into Elite Void. And I also need the other helmets, but this is a pretty good start. And that's where I'm going to end things for today's video. If you did enjoy, then make sure to let me know by leaving a like. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. That way you never miss an upload.